Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am following on from the last video, the Crystal Mountain video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We are making coasters with the exact same design, except the crystals. Let's go. So these two colours, the coffee bean brown and the totally teal, are the same colours I use in the crystal mountain video. Now this is leftover resin, I haven't mixed any fresh resin here, I filmed this straight off the back of that video so I figured I had so much left I might as well continue and this is the mold that molds and shapes recently sent me, this is the round coaster mold with the gorgeous little heart tag in the centre. I figured I'd have a play. I thought I've got all this resin left over. I might as well just continue on filming, see what happens, see what the end results are. Now, I was kind of going for the crackle effect again, but I didn't get it. I definitely did not get it. But what I did get was something, a, it was a wow. Again, this is the kind of thing with resin. Sometimes you just don't know what you're gonna get. And that is what I absolutely love and hate. <laughs> <laughs> and hate about resin you know sometimes it can be our best friend and sometimes it just betrays us you know like when KFC have run out of chicken <laughs> you know that kind of betrayal but anyway here we are I'm doing things differently this time I'm going with the blue around the outside and the brown in the center followed by some more blue whereas with the crystal mountain video you would have seen I did the brown around the outside and what tends to happen is the outside color when you fill these up with clear, the outside colour then will dominate, come up and over everything else that is in that mould and that will be the main colour. That is what I've learned so far about this technique. But I figured I would just use everything that I've got and almost pay not too much mind to how I'm putting it in the mould. Just pour it in and see what effects we've got. You would have already seen the thumbnail. So I did call these coasters the Ocean Reef Coasters because, oh my goodness me, that is what they ended up looking like. So here we are. We've gone two rings of blue, one ring of brown, and now I am pushing it all back with the remaining clear. But because this was leftover resin, it became very clear to me, very apparent that I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough resin. So at this point, I was like, please, please, please be enough. It wasn't enough. So I did end up having to just make up a small batch of clear to finish these off. But this is what they look like at this point. They already remind me of that ocean vibe you know those images where you're looking up from the ocean floor and you can see the sun peeking in the top of the waves that is what these reminded me of at this point i had loads of brown left and i didn't want to waste it at the same time i didn't want to pour brown into another mold i had nothing in mind that i would like to be brown so i figured pour it all in claire at this point what does it matter? We're here. We might as well carry on. We're going to all kind of learn together what this mess comes out like. <laughs> so here is the extra cup of clear that I mixed and I'm just pouring it over the brown swirl and I'm pouring some in the middle to push it back out again because I don't know what this resin has in store. I don't know what the plan is. But all I know at this point is I am loving the colours brown and blue together well it's nature isn't it it's trees and it's sky so all nature colors go together we know this and that is what i'm doing so i'm pushing it all out hoping for the best and there was no other plan <laughs> i can't pretend there was no other plan but here they are ignore the mess that has gone around the outsides of the molds i do go in afterwards and clean up that mess even at this point i'm thinking I wish you could stay like this. I was talking to the resin, like, why can't you stay like this? Why can't you just stay right here like this? Because this is stunning. Again, ignore this mess all around the outside. I do get a wet wipe and I clean all of that off. But look at these. And this is the next day I I am in love. They're a cross between an eye. <laughs> They look like someone's eye who's got a mixture of different colours in their eye and the ocean reef. Of course, I'm going with the ocean reef because eyeball doesn't sound as appealing on a thumbnail. 
<laughs> this one here is my favorite where I drizzled the brown up and into the center that one is definitely my favorite but they are all absolutely beautiful now where I feel I missed a trick with these I do end up top coating these so again this is the next day again because they needed a top coat I still didn't fill the mold up and I wanted that domed effect so here they are on demold this one here was top coated outside the mold so you can see the masking tape still through the bottom but of course I will take that off when they finish but oh my gosh I am loving them so much the backs are ugly but oof look at this I just wish, again, my camera was doing me justice. I need to just, yeah, I just feel like I can see a lot more with my eyes than the camera's picking up. I've got two little air bubbles on this one, which in my eyes makes them unsaleable. So I guess I'll be keeping these. Um, I could sand them down again, do another top coat. If anyone really did want them, then I'm happy to do that. But I've decided to edge them in the gold. I'm not actually covering the edges completely the sides I'm not doing the sides I'm just doing that top edge it makes them really really pop and without the sides being done again it really takes nothing away I think it's so so pretty but where I feel like I've missed a trick I realize I went off on a tangent there guys you see that center point it looks like the top, it looks like you're laying on the ocean floor, you're looking up through the ocean and you're seeing the sun coming down over the top. You know those images of fish swarming in a circle or turtles swimming? I actually painted a rock with a very similar design once. I might see if I can find it on my Instagram. I think I missed a trick there. I could have gone in with some vinyl cricket detail of tiny fish or turtle swimming in that center point so that it does look more like you're on the ocean floor looking up. Let me know your thoughts at this point. Let me know what you think. I utterly love them and I definitely want to try this method again but using some Cricut detail to really show off the ocean vibe and yeah let me know what you think I really like them and this is definitely one of those videos where I, I didn't really set out with a plan I just had the resin to leave I had resin to use I had leftover resin it needed using I had to use it and that is where these were born so let me know your thoughts I think they match that jewelry tray beautifully even though they don't have the crystals they don't have the crackle effect they're exactly the same color scheme so they match it so so beautifully and yeah I'm really happy with them I hope it's coming through on camera just how beautiful these are and thank you so much if you've made it this far it was kind of a quick video this one because I guess using leftover resin is kind of a quick it's a quick process so we're only around about nine minutes long on this video but I appreciate you all thank you so so much and also thank you to anyone who came into my live chats while I was not there it is not something I generally do but yeah we had the grandbabies at the weekend and six o'clock was an absolute no-no for me it was bath time so I just couldn't leave them obviously and then I got sick I got so so ill on my on Sunday night a tummy bug and I was in bed all of Monday half of Tuesday so thank you so much if you did still come into my live chat and all have a chat together that's kind of why I left it open I just put a post up saying come along and chat with each other I won't be there but yeah it's not it's not ideal I miss you guys so much when I'm not there and yeah thank you if you still came in to have a chat I heard it was fun I've read back all of the messages and I still have to reply to most of the messages from the last couple of videos but thank you so so much for your support and yeah I will see you all on Saturday and I am excited for Saturday's video I am back to full health this is now Wednesday morning because that is how late I am luckily this video was already filmed and edited all I had to do was the voiceover so yeah thank you my past Claire for actually getting prepared <laughs> I will see you all on Saturday bye mm -hmm.